G'day guys, push brakes. So if you've seen our previous videos, you will have seen that we've had some variations on our push brakes for our modern jive. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually add to that and sort of take it out a little bit longer. We're gonna change the direction or, or the slot if you like. Um, and then we're gonna add some extra movement to it. So let's bring the lovely Kerry in. So in the previous videos, we talked about coming together, if I want to do it on the three, I could rotate the girl center out, or I could expand my connection, one, two, send the girl a little bit early. Really doesn't matter when you do it, it's about the connection, it's about leading and giving her that signal that something's coming, and we're going to do it different so she knows just to be composed and wait for that lead activation. All right, so one, two, three, swivel, four, Send out five, six, roll in seven, eight. So I've gone opposition, I bring her in, I roll her again, I send her out, and then I'm ready to start my movement again. So we have a nice little roll off. Let's do that from this side. We'll show it a couple times, then we'll break it down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, Five, six, you added an excellent one. I love that. All right, we'll do it from this way. And you can see in dance that sometimes the girl has a thought as well, so I have to be patient and let her do that. We'd like to think she doesn't do it every time we do something in the dance, but she's certainly allowed to add her thoughts or, or styling change. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Four, that time I let it five, <laughs> six out, seven, eight. Once more from this side. Okay. I've been leading them all with the compression on the three. I'll do this one on the two. Seven, eight, one, two, seven, three, four, five, catch six. She knows that's opposition. I'm going to bring her around. I stayed in close this time. And one, two, three, four. So the important part for the ladies is once you've sent her out, to as you are wrapping her in, move that connection down toward the hip area, and we'll do this from a side angle, down toward the hip area, yeah, so that she knows she's rolling and redirecting into it. So that's why I added a, an extra turn on the first one, because we didn't get that, and so I was on a different foot. It really is going to give her an idea soon enough for her to be adapting, if once you take her back in, she's got this little bar to roll over yeah. and then you bank her off each forearm from there on out. And like one of the things before we go into this more, a little more technical, and I bring the girl through, if I was to connect the back of the hand there, she would know that I'm probably going to bring her back into frame because she would feel that lead all the way through. But if I send her away, bring her in, slow her down just enough, but then keep moving so there's just connection, as I roll, she's going to want to keep rolling. And then all I have to do is change hands and then keep stepping around. I do just walk, 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 walk. Yeah, and like right I mentioned, right. if you do it closer down to the hip, she knows she's going to keep banking off those arms. If you start to go more up to the shoulder blade area, she's perhaps thinking, or she's in a split mind about whether you're going to go yeah, to a frame. Go to yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's break it down just from the outward mm -hmm. movement. So I send her out, it doesn't matter whether I compress on three and send out four, four. or whether I send out two, on three. three four. Yeah, because I'm compressing on the two and sending on the three. But I bring Kerry through, it's a nice little wide release instead of to the hip and let her wrapping in. I almost free spin it a little more. So leaders, you're dealing a deck of cards or you're throwing out frisbee. Good point. So I go frisbee, so she knows, oh, this is a bit of a free spin. Then a very soft connection, either sort of ribs or hip area, roll her off and then I change sides and then I just keep shifting. And this might be one of the drills you'll have to uh, try. Where I really you, like this drill. Yeah, where I've got the girl connected, I bring her across, I work on that. Then I start to roll her catch over. So I'm just shifting and you keep working and I keep going and I'll take you around so they can see that, boom. So opposition and through. And see Kerry, that time she went nice and fast so I can get speed and then I've got to move so I'm stepped together, right left, right left. 
and then I get her into the position I want, and then I can roll her off each hand. So the beginning of that drill, when we were just bouncing her back and forth like Fred Astaire was cane between his hands, we were just transferring weight from one foot to the other. And the way that she and I are demonstrating this today, which is not the only way, it's just what we're doing it on this, how we're doing it on this video, is when we get it up to the rotation follows, you're gonna be pivoting off your right leg, left leg basically stays in the spot. Pivoting off your right, pushing off your right, pushing off your right, and pushing I, off your right. I feel like I'm almost passing the hand. So if I show this on this connection, mm -hmm. we went out, I sent her across, I rotate, and you see how I'm making connection nice and early with each hand. And then all I've got to do is step around the girl to make it look really cool. And again, because I am turning counterclockwise in the way he's passing me from his left to his right, it makes me feel very comfortable keeping my left foot in place and my right foot doing the push and the travel. Yeah. So just remember, get out in this position and start here once you've done those little hand toss practices. Then you've got the rotation, then you've got the movement, then work on a shift. So I'm going to the left, she's going to the right. I feed the hand and then I can step around. And then I, I feel like I'm rotating around the girl every time I take a right step. Even though I'm collecting with my left and theoretically that's making you rotate, you're gonna feel more rotation because you're actually stepping wide together, wide together. But they both actually create rotation. And if I may, from the outward position. That's happening. Sorry. And as Shane brings me in, this first step, that's my step that's gonna be my pivot point or my in place foot. And then he frisbees me or um I sort of toss that a little more. I want to know what's I'm not going to be early on connection. I'm going to let her keep rotating and look for the connection. That allows my right foot to start stepping through and be that pushing foot. Now, if Shane does it rotate around me, this serves me well. If he starts to rotate around me, then I might ever so slightly slide that foot where it's going to make sense to be my pivot point. Yeah, and there's a lot of variations we can do with footwork. Even just then, I stepped across and I was going to flare because <laughs> that's where I was. I mean, there is no wrong or right footwork, it's just creating the space. Opposition, rotate the girl, so you've got to paddle her in. Sort of like change hands one to the other, rather than free spin, because if you free spin, she's going to go off, and then work your way around, and just practice it. Take your time, do it slow, don't try to put it to music until you feel like you've got it. So let's dance into this hip patch turn, and dance out of it. So we'll finish it a couple different options for okay. you. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. All right, um, let's start with the next stuff. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And then I can do a Manhattan if I want to there. So Kerry was really giving me the signal there. I want to make these turns a little slower, a little longer for whatever it was she was feeling in the connection or not feeling in the I connection. I hope you don't mind me saying, I wasn't yet where my foot was. So Shane actually got a little ahead of where my weight change was. So he felt me, what he felt as a slowness or a drag because I needed to wait to change my foot. So he had me over here, and before I had weight changed, he was trying to rotate me. So he's trying to get two actions on the one foot that I had just weight changed to. So I had to commit to that other foot and tell him, hey, I'm not here yet. Now I am. Slow down for me. Okay, now that we're in the same footwork or on the proper weight change, then he could accelerate. Yeah, it's a really good example of me listening to what I felt. And I went, oh, she wanted me to slow down there, and I need to slow that down and not feel like I have to rush the girl because the turns look good no matter what speed we're doing them at. What's most important is she gets on the correct foot and gets on balance. So let's try a different way of leading it out so we exit in a framed position. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so keep, oh yeah, let's do the music. Keep working on these things. I did a little bit different footwork the second time. 
It's where, whatever I feel. If I get my body in the right position, it will always work. All right, here we go. and you can see what I did there. I felt like it was slow because the music was revving up or getting ready for a phrase change. And I was like, oh, I feel a little acceleration there in the tempo. Not so much the timing of the music, but just the extra instruments coming in. So I went, let's go a little faster. 